Um, under Kamala's economy, millions of Americans are suffering because of inflation. They're losing their jobs. They can't afford housing, groceries, or a car. And yet Kamala is importing millions of illegals across our borders and giving them taxpayer benefits at your expense while taking the jobs from African Americans and from Hispanic Americans at levels that we have not seen. You're going to see reports coming out very soon. They're trying to hold it until after the election. Hopefully it won't matter because we're going to win by so much. But But let him give you the reports of what's happening to our African-American population, our Hispanic population. They are taking the jobs of our African-Americans and Hispanic-Americans, and it's tremendous numbers. And they're going to release these numbers sometime after the election, and everyone's going to be upset, and uh, nothing they could do. You gotta, what do you, you're going to have to wait four more years. And I'm not sure we can wait four more years, because I don't know that we'll have a country in four more years. So they better, you ought to start looking at that to the fake news media. Show them what's happening to the black population and to the Hispanic population with these people that are coming into our country illegally. You are witnessing the economic oppression of Americans to reward and enrich illegal aliens. It's just like, you know, they come into hotels and they stay in hotels and luxury hotels paid for by the government. And they walk past our veterans who are sleeping on the street right in front of that hotel. But all of that stops two weeks from tonight. For four straight years, Kamala Harris has imported an army of illegal alien gang members and migrant criminals from prisons and jails, from insane asylums and mental institutions all around the world, from Venezuela to the Congo, not just South America, this is all over the world, with a dumping ground for the whole world to put their criminals into. And she has resettled them into your communities to prey upon innocent Americans, and that's what they're doing. You just take a look at what's going on in Colorado. Take a look at what's going on there. They're taking over. They're in the real estate business like I am. The only difference is I go out and borrow nice money from a bank. They do it with guns. You see what's going on in Aurora? But it's not just Aurora. It's hundreds of communities. They don't want to talk about it because they don't want to destroy the reputation of the community, and they better start talking about it because they won't have a community. When I win on November 5th, the migrant invasion ends and the restoration of our country begins. It's going to begin. One of the deadliest and most vicious migrant gang that Kamala has imported into a country. She's let them just come in. Remember, she's a stupid person. Open borders. Open borders. As soon as I saw it, I said, well, wait a minute. I know the world. I know many of the leaders of the world, other than the ones that were changed, not that many. I know them. They're smart. They're streetwise, very streetwise people. I said, wait a minute, they're going to let all their prisoners out into our country when you have open borders. There's no checking. There's no vetting. And very importantly, Border Patrol, they're phenomenal. They endorsed me last week with the strongest endorsement that you've ever seen. Unanimous. Unanimous. And in the endorsement, they said she is so bad, there's never been anybody bad. That by itself should cause her Thousands of people voted for me. Unanimous endorsement of the Border Patrol because we had the safest border. Bring down my, my favorite chart. I love this chart. I sleep with this chart. I kiss this chart every night. I love it. I love this chart. Isn't that a beautiful? Every night I roll it up and I kiss it. Because I wouldn't be here 
right now without that chart. I looked to my right, bing, I said, what the hell happened? But look at that arrow on the bottom. That's when I left office. That's the day I left office, right there. That's the lowest we've ever had. This was done by Border Patrol, by the way. And look